everybody, welcome to another video on Jurassic World the game. Today we are doing boss stuff. Um, we uh, managed to finish all of the missions uh, a couple days ago. Haven't unlocked the boss yet, so I figured I'd do that on the video. Uh, and based off my uh, 24,040 boss DNA, we should be able to get to roughly... Um, either level 34, 35, I think 35, but uh, we will we will see here. So we're gonna unlock this bad boy. Place him, oh, I like his enclosure. Made a little spot form over here. Perfectly fits, excellent. All right, let's uh, feed uh, this uh, boss guy up here. Oh, I'll claim this for now. And then let's just get going here. Kind of wish they had a feeding animation. That would be. I guess maybe they kind of maybe do a little bit now, but I'd like to see him eat something. That's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, all right, level 19. We'll stop at 31. Just to uh, pick up these guys. Collection, collection, collection. Yes, please, yes, please, yes, please. All right, and so um, I did notice, because I've been tracking um, the data for the various levels, and it looks like the first three levels of each evolution are really kind of really poor, um, in the sense that uh, from 31 to 32, there's barely any movement in his actual stats. Like we're talking a, a 20 ferocity difference, which is almost nothing. He gets like, you know, one attack and like 10, 11 health, something, something silly. Uh, very, a very, very small amount of change. Um, and same thing from 32 to 33, again, very little difference. Only 44 ferocity difference between the two. Um, so you really have to get through Oh, looks like level 34 is where we're going to stop. Um, you really have to get through the various, um, really first three levels before you start getting any significant change. So the next, at level 35, um, he'll get a decent bump, uh, like 200 ferocity. But at level, you know, the... Level 21 to 24, level 31 to 34, level 11 to 14, um, and even level 1 to level 4. Just really small changes. So it's really, he's, he's back half loaded in each of his level ranges, which is, uh, which is interesting. The other ones weren't really like that, at least not when I unlocked them. Uh, they might be different now, because uh, I know they lowered all the stats, but previously they were all fairly consistent. Um, between all of the levels. You didn't have this really low to really high changes, but. So we've got Salamander now. So let's, uh, I do have one of these unlocked. So let's go ahead and do a couple of boss things. So uh, we'll go ahead and use him. I haven't used him in the past, obviously, but uh, we'll see if we get a chance to unlock his power move or not. Kind of depends on where uh, the battle goes. Uh, typically, I like to get Valkyrie's uh, move activated first um, because it's such a good move. It's such a good, it's such a good move. Um, see what he decides to do. See if he's gonna actually swap or not. Uh, maybe he's not gonna swap, which is okay. So we'll go ahead and activate his power move because why not? And since I think we're gonna get two defense, yeah, two defense, and then obviously uh, reduced attack from everybody else. I'm just gonna reserve because I don't need to worry about uh, any attacks. Right, so we're swapping, there we go. Attacks, okay. He's got, uh, I was not paying attention to how many moves he had. 
But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and swap over. I'm going to. I think he might have had one more. Okay, perfect. All right, so he's gonna get his power move. So I'm not. That's why I didn't block. Um, I didn't do anything else because he should have enough. Oh, well, maybe he won't have enough to take us out. So he might not attack, actually. Alright, and I'm not going to do anything here because anything that I do for... Yeah, he's got crazy attack, or crazy block, so there's no point. One, okay, so he's got three left. We're going to swap over Valkyrie. And dump a couple out. I'm gonna do one here. To try to keep track of everything here. Uh, let's see. That kills him. I don't remember if he had three or if he did three. <laughs> oh, we'll just do this because it's not gonna not gonna matter. This just doesn't really matter what uh, Omega does here. He's he's toast at the end of the day here. The bad news is when Valkyrie dies, you lose your. Um, extra two that you were getting from his move. I also don't understand why when you kill one of theirs, you only get a 15% increase, but when they kill one of yours, they get a 20% increase. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense to me why it's different. And, well actually, and you don't get a, um, a bonus when one of your creatures dies where it and the opponent does. This doesn't make a lot of sense. Why it's different between the opponent versus you on what values you get when a creature dies. This is interesting. It's interesting that it's different. I don't know if that's intended. A lot of stuff with Lodi you always have to ask, is it intended to be that way or is it a mistake? Well, the same team again. See if he swaps right away since Juggernaut's quite a bit stronger. There we go. Got no attack yet, which is good. Swap again, probably to the 36 Omega. Yep. No attack yet. Uh, go ahead and activate this because it's going to give us two more action points, anyways. Plus, we're invincible now. So let's go ahead and do. Oh, beautiful. Alright, so the question is, is he going to activate Juggernaut? Because I think he's going to have enough. Oh, no. And he's, they never spend an extra one to actually activate their, their power move, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but hey, you know, it's the computer. They can do whatever they want to. I'm not blocking here because I have invincible recharge or whatever. So he's probably gonna activate it now, which is kind of silly, because he activates it there, which I'm totally fine with, versus activating it on his Omega. All right, so he used two, so I'm gonna use another one so that we can, can't activate it, forgot. Uh, this was a waste. Three, we'll go the extra three, just to make sure. I think he had three left over. Might have been an extra one there just because. Oh yeah, he definitely had more than three. Okay. 
So he should do enough to kill us. It's only going to be two, <laughs> which is fine. So he's got four left. So I'm going to actually switch over here. Activate this. Which is going to give us two more. Should use all of them. Oh, full will kill us. Oh, well, okay, perfect. All right, well, we're gonna take him out now. And there we go. Boss event done. Oh, clock from the DNA facility. I don't necessarily do that one all the time. I mean, it's, it's okay. It's nothing special uh, in terms of the rewards. It's only two battles, which is kind of nice. Um, really like the other one. That. Uh, that. This is not what I want to be in, this one. I really like uh, the time to strike, not the time to strike, the battlefield domination. This pack is really good. Um, it's got lots of DNA in it, which is fantastic. Uh, and the creatures are okay. They're all trade arbor fodder for me, or potentially hatch fodder, depending on if I have an open hatchery or not. But it's there. This event is worth it, in my opinion. It's 200 uh, dino bucks, but you end up getting almost 4,000 DNA because you get 100. Um, actually, it is 4,000, I think, because you get 100 each time you finish the first three battles. Um, and they're fairly easy. They're fairly straightforward. Once you once you understand the mechanics of the boss moves, it's it's not that bad. It's pretty it's pretty easy. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, we've got uh, this guy coming this weekend, uh, which most people believe it's a Parasaurus or something. I don't know how to say it yet, but it's a import from Jurassic World Alive. Um, hopefully, it gets a hybrid of some sort, and hopefully, it's an amphibian hybrid. We do have a decent amount of amphibian creatures already, though, that don't have a hybrid. Um, we got Eriops, uh, Encanthostega, Protogynus, Scrapasuchus, Carapasuchus Gen 2. Um, I mean, all these guys don't have hybrids, so, you know, why not pick one of those to, to give a hybrid? Uh, versus putting a new one in. Uh, we could definitely, I mean, if you look, we've only got three amphibian hybrids. Well, four, five. Two rares. We got the super, uh, super hybrid, but uh, in the top end, we've only got the the three, which is pretty, pretty light. You look at herbivores, you know, we've got one, two, three, four, even five if you consider the Ankylodacus, but at least at least four, let's actually go ferocity. Um, plus we've got the super hybrid, two super hybrids that are that are up there. Um, for pterosaurs, you know, we've got four. Uh, for carnivores, we've got massive amounts. I mean, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, you know, 11, 12. I mean, look at all these that are above VIP um, ferocity. It is, I mean, you got a ton, a ton. And then we've got our three amphibians, two. Two that are above VIP level 40. It's just, it's super unbalanced, super unbalanced. Um, need to add at least two to three more amphibian hybrids at a minimum. Uh, need a glass cannon tournament hybrid. Need a uh, potentially even a more tanky uh, amphibian hybrid. But um, yeah, we just we just need some more options. Uh, it makes it difficult when you are doing battles because um, you've only got, I mean, if you look at all these creatures that are ahead of my Gorgasuchus level 40 fleet, uh, and that's all I've got to choose from. And then if I go down further, 
you get down to Osteoposaurus, which is available, but it's so far down the list that it doesn't necessarily help a ton. And then even further down the list, you've got Coolosaurus, um, like way down here, way down here. I mean, it just, there needs to be some more amphibians that reach up to this level in order to balance out the game. Uh, and you can only get so many, I, I have as many Gorgosuchuses level 40 as you can have. And that's it. Can't have more. Can't put more in the paddock. Can't say, hey, there's an imbalance. I need to get more. I can do Osteoposaurus, but they're still kind of light in terms of health. They do not stand up to the crazy pterosaurs or crazy uh, herbivores or even the crazy carnivores that you start facing in end game. It, it just needs to be a different, needs to be a new amphibian added. It's just the way that that works. Um, but that's it for today. Uh, not too long of a video, but uh, should have uh, some information, at least on the forums, uh, if not a video for this weekend's tournament. Um, but uh, until next time, everybody stay safe, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. If you made it this far, I appreciate you watching all the way to the end. Subscribing to my channel and clicking the notification bell will ensure that you'll be notified as I release videos on the channel. If you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting the like button. If there is something specific you would like a video on in the game, please leave a message in the comment section below on what you would like to see. Again, thank you for tuning in, and I will catch you on the next one.